What's good, everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer, content creator, and cinematographer. And today is a day I have been waiting so long for. So much hard work, quality control, and testing has gone into today. I am finally dropping version two of my Lightroom presets. And you guys know me. If you've been around my channel, you've come to know that I'm all about doing the majority of my education work for free and really giving you guys and being the mentor that I wish I had when I started photography and filmmaking. So you best believe that if I'm making a product that I have made sure it's going to meet my standards of professionalism and that I've just put in all of that hard work. So we're gonna head over there to my computer and edit photos from many different cameras, RAW, JPEG, and most of it's gonna be one click and I'm gonna show you guys how you can make it your own. But first, roll intro. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that if you have bought my presets from my store within the last two months, I am going to be going through and sending you guys a copy completely on me. It's my way of saying thank you so much for supporting me. It really means a lot and it really allows me to continue to create this content, create these education resources, and have the resources to do so as well. So thank you so much for supporting me. Now without further ado, let's head over to Lightroom and I can show you how to install these presets and we can go through some quick edits. So once you get my presets, they're gonna come in this little zip folder right here. And then after you extract them, there's gonna be a folder within a folder. The folder within the folder is going to have all the presets in them. So we're gonna head into Lightroom. We're going to go to Edit Preferences on Windows on Mac it's gonna be Lightroom Preferences. Click this little button that says Show Lightroom Presets Folder. Now here's where it changes up for those of us who are Windows users. If you are a Windows user, you are going to go to Camera Raw Settings and then place the presets in there. Or if you are a Mac user, you're going to go to Lightroom Settings and place the presets in there. If you do not see Lightroom Settings, you can always still put them in Camera Raw. So again, we're gonna come over here to Camera Raw Settings. You can see the folder is already in there, but let's just say that it wasn't for all intents and purposes. We're gonna come here, we're gonna go into that folder, and we're gonna act like this didn't pop up. We're gonna of course click skip because it's already in there. We're gonna close all those folders and then hit this restart Lightroom button. Wait for Lightroom to come back up. And now that Lightroom is back up, we're like a dad at a restaurant getting ready to leave. We can rock and roll. We see the presets right here. So my main goal with these presets was to make sure everybody was going to be able to use them. So we are going to be editing images from all different types of cameras. As you can see here, this photo was shot on a Nikon D7100. This photo was shot on a Canon EOS 350D. This, can uh, this photo was shot on a Canon 5D Mark III. We have a Fuji X-T5 here. We have a DJI image, a drone image. We have one shot on a Galaxy S9 Plus. We have a JPEG image shot on a uh, 6D Mark II as well. This is a JPEG image as well. And then the rest of them are gonna be 1DX Mark II images. So these presets are designed to be one click, but I also made them in a way where you can change things around and really make them your own. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So starting with this image here, I'm gonna use SLX Mark I. The difference between SLX Mark I and Mark II is just actually some warmth in the highlights. And I'll show you why I did that in a second. Um, so I'm just gonna warm this image up just a smidge. Just a smidge right there, give it those warm vibes. Those warm vibes we've all come to know and love. It just seems like a nice, warm summer image somewhere in the Pacific Northwest, which I love. Um, now, this is perfectly fine, but if you are not a fan of how dark that shadow region was, you can always lighten it up a bit right there. And then again, the before and after on this image as well. And then we move on to the next image. It's just that simple. Here again, I'm gonna be wanting to, let me give you guys some more screen real estate here while we're editing. I'm gonna be wanting to use SLX Mark I again. And this is one of those images where SLX really just does so good on those greens. I was really shooting for the green tones in these images. I want it to be a cooler green, but I didn't want it to be where the cool and the warmth, where it contrasted, made the greens orange. And that was really the goal of SLX. So after you brighten that exposure up, 
all I do is again just add my crop make it look nice and as you can see because this is a crop sensor you do have a little bit it was underexposed to begin with but because this is a crop sensor you're gonna have some of that noise in those shadow regions so we're just gonna come in here and we're just simply gonna go ahead add plus 20 right there for on the noise reduction 2021 20, you can see right there it just gives a nice cleaner image in our hair region and it doesn't look so bad so we have that before and after here so you've seen the work of slx mark one and the reason i created slx mark two was for a photo specifically like this here you can see we have these gorgeous whites and one of the things i really believe in is that in photos your whites should be white they should not be orange blacks should be black it just kind of gives you that basic point to make your edit seem a little bit more true to life and if i went as Alex mark one here i'm not saying it won't work and i'm not saying it wouldn't work it's just a little bit of a warmer white than what i like so we're gonna restart that again and slx mark ii we got those nice cool whites nice very neutral whites very clean and minimal these this presets definitely for my minimalist out there who use a lot of white as well and then just an instagram crop right there and you can see before after even with the green color cast that's coming in from these leaves it completely eliminates all of that so just gives you that nice clean white that i really really love and our next image over here now this image is where i really want to introduce colleen colleen is one of my favorite presets it was the first preset developed around this lightroom preset pack and it's a very cinematic teal and orange preset but it doesn't have to be and i'm going to show you what i mean by that so i'm going to go ahead and add colleen here and you're going to be like whoa dude whoa, what's going on it's really dark it's really blue well first thing i'm going to do before we even get into the edit is i'm just going to change that just a smidge that angle so that we're working in a like a level horizon because you can see here this image has no horizon at all because of the mountains i'm going to warm it up not warm it up brighten it a little bit by boosting the exposure then i would warm it up and I push the saturation all the way up. Just in this image because it was so underexposed. Now this, you can see what I mean by the teals and the dark blues and the orange, and that's really why I love it. It's really great for high contrast overcast days, really makes your photos pop. But let's say you did not want your orange greens. Well, you would just simply come down here into camera calibration, and I am going to move my blue primary to about right there. And I'm gonna increase the saturation of it. And then I'm gonna come into my color. I'm gonna go into my yellow. I'm gonna make that more of a greener green right there. And maybe I'd add a little bit of magenta. And then you can see right there, boom. A different look completely on that image by making a few simple adjustments in your panels. And that's what I mean by you can really make these presets your own. We have before and after with look one. And if we just go ahead and reset that, we also have before and after with look two. So there's many different possibilities out there for these presets as well. Drone photos are something that are really challenging to edit sometimes because the camera profiles are so much different than what we're used to on our DSLRs or our mirrorless bodies. But that's not a problem for this preset pack at all. Again, I'm simply gonna come in here. I'm gonna use SLX Mark I here because it's gonna give me more of that a cleaner look that I'm going for. I'm gonna boost the exposure a bit. And then to add the contrast I'm looking for, I'm gonna go ahead and just clip those blacks and I'm gonna add in some saturation just to get that really nice blue water and get those really green greens and those just those, that image that's really looking nice and folly, but just cool, like it's just a nice fall day. And again, before and after, I think the image speaks for itself, nothing more really to say. On to the next one, and that's what it's supposed to be like. I've designed it to be quick, simple, efficient, because I do not like spending a lot of time on editing, especially shooting weddings. My editing workflow is down to at least two hours on a thousand images at a wedding, so that's how fast I like to go. So with this image we have here, I would like to introduce fall vibes to you guys. And I kind of wanted presets that would work Work around every season you see we've had those really summery greens so far and we have some at the beach as well but we also have some photos of some of those fall colors here and that is what fall vibes is designed to do fall vibes is designed to be very straightforward we're simply going to apply the preset and make some basic corrections by bumping up the exposure and that would be good if you would like to leave it there if that's your style but you know me I'm all about those nice clean whites so I'm just gonna make it a little bit cooler Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Add 
a crop. And simply put, you're done. A nice before and after in your image. Nothing more, just simply straightforward. So yes, even if you don't expose correctly, these presets are still designed to work with you and work efficiently. So we have this image right here, which is completely underexposed for my taste, but I see what we're doing here. We're really kind of saving the highlights. Um, so we're just gonna apply Colleen. And then we're gonna bump up those shadows all the way. Yes, all the way. You're gonna get some noise. We'll worry about that in a second. I'm gonna boost the exposure just a smidge. And then I'm going to add in some warmth. Now you're gonna see with the way Colleen works, my reds are really pushed in this preset. So it's gonna make this extremely red. Don't worry about that. I'm just correcting for where I kind of want the sun. And then I'm gonna take that red out. I'm gonna add in magenta. That's how I got rid of that red. You see basic corrections. You're really playing around with these temperature sliders. I'm gonna boost the exposure a little bit more again to get that bridge where I want it. And then I'm gonna add some dehaze. That's gonna hide some of that noise and bring back some of that contrast we were looking for. I'm gonna leave the dehaze right about there. And the last thing I'm gonna do you can see right here, we just have some, some color fringing in the reds and I'm not even gonna play around with the, the dropper. I'm just gonna add it in the red and defringe manually, just like that. Come back out, fit, zoom out, add an Instagram crop right about there. Boom, plain and simple, straightforward, nice and easy added. So the garbage truck is going by. So if you hear my dog, just know that's what happened. It's happening, it's like four in the morning. So again, we're gonna go SLX Mark I. We're gonna brighten this up just a smidge. And I already like where it's going. The only thing I'm gonna change here is that I don't like my skin tones and you know me, I'm very particular about my skin tones. So we're just gonna come into the color, come into the orange and just change the hue until my skin tones are where I want them. And that's more about me. I am not in Oompa Loompa, I'm not that red. I'm a little bit more on the yellowy orange side would probably be the undertone of my skin. So before, after, and that my friends is on a cell phone JPEG image. So there's no reason why these presets will not work for your camera. It's designed for everybody and anybody's needs. So next we have another JPEG image from a DSLR. If you're the type who is still kind of shooting JPEG and not quite shooting raw yet, it's still gonna work for you. But again, I encourage you to shoot raw. And this is another one where SLX just shines. This was designed for my friend Jess. This is, this is Jessica right here. So I designed this preset for her because I really wanted her to have something that was gonna be great for her travel Instagram brand, which she have. You can follow her in the description down below. But you can see nice before and after on a JPEG image, nice summer vibes, really kind of a vintage look, but not that really degraded, washed out vintage look that I think retrograde would give the image. That's not what I was going for, for this. I want this to have contrast pop, true to life colors that look real, just kind of has more of a, a vintage vibe to it. Now, this photo I originally edited when I sent it out was with Colleen, or a version of Colleen at the time. And all I actually would do is just warm this up just a bit so that his coat was nice. And I think that's where I would leave that preset, honestly. But we're not here to do Colleen. We're here to play with my black and white film X-Chrome. I'm simply gonna go ahead and just boost the exposure right there in this black and white film. And you can see it's designed to give us nice grain in there. And that's what I kind of wanted it to mimic it was a vintage World War I, World War II black and white filmic style. That's just, those are always have always been the black and white films that I've loved a lot. And simply moving on to the next one. So I actually designed Colleen around this photo. And you can tell what my favorite presets are. And you can see any of them work. You can apply crystal clear here and it gives you a completely different image, but I wanted something darker, moodier, and I wanted it to work with hard light, and that's what Colleen is designed to do. I also want to bring out the red in her lipstick, which is why that one image went really hard on the reds originally. So again, you just apply Colleen, add that crop, and you're good to go. So this is another area where, again, we can really get versatile with these presets. Um, I love Colleen also for, I, like I said, the dark and moody city. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do corrections here in the brush panel first. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come over this area right here and right over here and really just bring up the city. Cause I want it to look nice. 
and I want this to be really high dynamic range. And this is how most of these landscapes that are shot with natural light work. It's a lot of brushing. And I'm simply just gonna add in about 65 on the clarity, about 20 something on the dehaze, brighten it up just a smidge more, and I'm gonna warm it up a couple decimals, about to 19. Right about there is where I like that. Um, this photo, if you notice, has actually been on my wall too. It was in the intro, if you did not notice. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and this is gonna be sloppy, because I'm trying to, for the sake of time, just work quickly. I'm gonna warm up the CN Tower and brighten it up. And that's the whole goal of this. So we're really gonna push the exposure of the CN Tower. I'm gonna go as quickly as possible to do this in a decent amount of time. I will come through and correct the edges later because we're just trying to go through and go quickly with auto mask. And you can see here how this image is really coming to life already. This is, I don't know what possessed me to edit this image this way, but you can see here, nice. And just gonna get a little bit more attentive to detail right in here. And this has always been the hard part for me for editing this image because I edited it in my last preset pack as well. Um, but just right here is this like this little tricky part on the seat and tower that if you're not careful, you'll get some white on this red tip on the edges. But I don't think you'll really notice that right now. And then we go back out. You can see just the overall impression of the image minus the sloppy edit. And I'll come through and just correct some of that right there and right there, but that is how Colleen is designed to work. You can see the actual image when I take my time looks something like this, Oops, not like that. It looks something like this. This is how if I had my time and I took my time on the edit, you could really get a nice before and after on the image. Be a little bit cleaner with your brush, of course, but just showing you how versatile Colleen is. The final image I want to show you guys was based off of a dark and moody style that's really popular in my city of Grand Rapids, Michigan. We have a lot of photographers here who love to shoot dark and moody, and I think it's just because of the color palette of our city. I'm not sure, but if you're that type of photographer, I didn't want you to feel left out. You can see Colleen, again, would work great here. Crystal Clear could work great here if you were gonna go for maybe more of a brighter edit. SLX is also an option, but Retrograde is what this was designed off of. It's designed for more shadows and underexposed images. And I don't, I'm not gonna adjust the angle because we're actually on a slant, which is why the bag is slanted. But all in all, just designed to be quick, simple, one-click edits. And then you can see when we come back here into all of our images, just how beautiful they all look together. Even being on different presets, everything still looks like it fits and kind of flows into a portfolio, which is super nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember my preset packs, the links are in the description down below. Each preset is also available available by itself if you just want to buy them individually. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications if you already have not. Be sure to share this video with a friend who might need some new light wound presets and follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below. Also be sure to follow the YouTube fam, Colin, Dr. D, Nate, and Will. Their links are in the description down below as well. And remember, if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on this creative life, Every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.